The decomposing bodies of a man and a woman were found at the Three Finger Jack Heritage site in Bull Bay, St. Thomas. The discovery was made by a friend of the man who visited the location. The scene is being processed by the police. One Axio, one RAV4 upon the North South Highway. A pullover vehicle. Them have blue flashing light in a them vehicle. A pullover vehicle upon the highway and rob people. So, yo, wanna spread the word. The last time them, they, they were seen is about 30 minutes ago. Upon the toll and them exit out of um, not, not Then they reach a mommy bay where they them Golden Grove. Them exit the toll going towards um, going in a sentence, then come off a toll at Golden Grove. So, I spread the word on the top of the not up on the highway, unless it's a mark police unit. Detectives assigned to the Area 3 Major Investigation Division are probing the circumstances surrounding a double murder on the Ivory Cottage Main Road in Malvern, St. Elizabeth on Wednesday and the robbery and assault of a woman. A man who is believed to have been driving the motor vehicle transporting the alleged perpetrators is in custody. The police have not yet released his identity. The deceased has been identified as Michael James, otherwise called Costos, a mason of Smithfield District and 51 year old Courtney Smith, otherwise called Patrick, a farmer of Smoothland Boat in St. Elizabeth. Reports from the police are that about 4 a.m., gunmen robbed and sexually assaulted a woman at her home in Malvern District. An alarm was raised and a Police in Trinidad are questioning the relatives of a six year old child who died from multiple blunt force injuries on Tuesday night. The autopsy was conducted on the body of Zachariah Charles on Thursday after he was found lying on the floor of a relative's apartment in St. Joseph and taken to the Port of Spain General Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The male and female relative, ages 33 and 31 respectively, have been detained by police as the investigation continues into the matter. Police said Zachariah was told by his parents to take a bath at the family home on Tuesday evening. However, they claimed to have heard a loud noise and upon investigating found Zachariah unresponsive on the floor of the bathroom. He was taken to the Port of Spain General Hospital where the doctors reportedly observed several bruises on the child's body. So far this year, nine children range from ages 9 months to 15 years have died under several situations including shooting, on fire, drowning and being beaten by a parent.